Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for September 2nd through the 10th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. Um, we'll see whatever comes up, and remember that this reading may not be for you, okay? So when I get a comment below that says something stupid, obviously the reading wasn't for you. Okay. Don't try to make it fit your situation. If it easily fits, it's for you. If it doesn't easily fit, it's not. We're going to get a couple of these and then we're going to clarify them at the end, okay? With those. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Beautiful. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Wow. Those are really good cards. I think I was only supposed to get two, but you guys got an extra. Calling in your soulmate. Your soulmate is right around the corner. It's something you've been waiting for. Awesome. Awesome. And it, mu and it must be coming because you guys are being positive with that attraction card by enjoying this moment fully. You know, living in the now, when you're positive, positive things happen. Mmm. That card represents you, okay? And it's reversed. So it's like there's no chance of reconciliation with whoever you were with. So get that thought out of your head right now. That was a stab, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Forgiveness is needed. This is... Judgment is, you know, resurrection. It's reversed. There's there's no resurrection in a situation that you perhaps have been holding on to. It was a karmic situation. And the other person, I mean, there's no chance of it coming back around. Not at this time, anyway. time to free yourself it's time to liberate okay and you have I think that you guys have I think that's why this attraction card is here because and this is your new suitor okay this is somebody that is better suited for you that will lead to a relationship so if you are single be prepared for a new suitor to come into your life soon that's what I see if you are coupled, you could be, you know, want, needing to free yourself. This is freeing yourself from something that's a dead end. Liberation, freedom, completion of a cycle that, of turmoil and hurt. So that you can get with that perfect suitor. complex decision whether you want to free yourself from something you are chained to or not right it is but you are dealing with a situation in which there's there's no well let me change this up a little bit there's a lack of self-confidence there's a lack of confidence a lack of self-respect a lack of self-esteem a lack of of strength and courage to free yourself from something those are for those of you that are in a coupled relationship. It's like there's no growth. There's no growth. There's no passion left. It's like there's no fertility in it. And there's no chance of it getting better. And you have to really decide whether you want to complete this relationship or not. And that's where you're at. You're at the stage of you know, complex decision making. You know, you could be dealing with a fire sign as well. Um, yeah, you may be wanting a divorce or a split from somebody.
to so that you can restore control in your life. It's like, you know what, I just I want to get back my own self-respect. I want to take back control. I want to free myself from this. This is personal freedom, and this one is too, and they're marrying each other. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, man or woman that is bringing you down. Totally stealing your energy. And it's like this commitment is dying. It is. There's no more passion there. It's like this person has no ambition and you're thinking about the past all right you're th you've got memories of you know what love is these are memories of love in the past and that's what I want I want that love that I I know I can have you know I know what love is and this ain't it it's not okay it's not I know what love is with the Six of Cups. I felt it before. And this is not love. This is... It has no growth. And you guys are... You may be just... You know, you're in the, the stage of making a decision for those of you that are in a coupled relationship. I guess we'll leave that like that. So, I, for singles, there is an opportunity here with somebody new. Those of you that have given up on a stale situation, okay? That's what I see. There's a lot, there's some situation that is just like, there's no faith in it, none. This is seeing things from a new perspective. You could be dealing with uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. But this is about being honest. It's about cutting out what doesn't serve you. It's about um, asserting yourself to do what's best for you. You could be cutting out a king of, uh, king of cups or this could be you. Maybe, maybe there's an opportunity with, and this is a man or a woman with, a, with an air sign, a new opportunity. This person may want to have a chance with you, may want to have a relationship with you, but you're reluctant to let them in. You're reluctant, reluctant to, to give them a chance. Now, you could be dealing with another water sign or, or an air sign or a fire sign. But I feel like the fire sign, I mean, the fire sign is reversed. Right next to the devil. And you have another suitor. So I think this, who, you got somebody over here who lacks drive, ambition. This person is very conceited and self-centered. And it feels, and, and they, you know, it's like they can do no wrong no matter what you say. They are not wrong. Ever. Okay. And... A very bossy individual. So I think that, that that's for some of you. Over here we have a new perspective, a new opportunity, you know. And they, somebody might be asking you for a relationship and you're in the process of making a decision whether you're going to let them in or not. This is a card of wish fulfillment, abundance, happiness, the 9 to the 10. So I feel like you guys have an opportunity for happiness somewhere. You do. But nines are about closure. So you may have to close one door to get to this happiness that you're seeking. You do. You have to free yourself from a toxic situation. I mean, that's what this is. The devil reversed is personal freedom from a toxic situation. And I have to tell you that you may, with this lineup right here, your actual wish fulfillment might be with somebody from your past. But you're reluctant to go down that route. Now we have this other one. This is this is making a conscious change. 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10. Completion, completion, completion. So you guys are completing cycles in your life. 
You are. You're releasing baggage or you're about to. This is about this. These two cards are very similar. This is this is releasing something toxic. This is releasing something heavy. A heavy weight. And if you're dealing with this person over here, they're not putting in any effort. And that would absolutely be a heavy weight. Um, so you are making some conscious changes in your life to release things that don't serve you. So that you can be happy. Congratulations. Stepping outside of your comfort zone. Perhaps you've been wearing a mask for quite some time. You know, trying to ignore the, the mental conflict that's been going on in your head regarding this choice that you have to make. I feel like you guys have been stuck in a spot where it was safe. You know, you were in the safe zone, but it was very mentally tormenting. You didn't, you know, it just wasn't the right time to step out of it, but you knew you could step out of it, and when the right time was going to come, you were going to step out of it. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm just, I know that I can step out of this whenever I'm ready, but right now it's safe. So I feel like you guys have, and you may still be staying in this safe zone, but it feels like, you know, with the Eight of Swords and the Devil card reversed, these both signify you can free yourself at any time from something that is tormenting you, okay? It's not fulfilling you in a loving way. It's lost that loving feeling. And I feel like you're beginning to realize the truth. You're beginning to realize that the situation is insecure. You may be wanting to throw it away. So he's throwing that, that security away. He's throwing that option away. Throwing it to the ground. It's like, you know, I don't want this anymore. I don't want this anymore. Because there's, it's, there's no truth in it. It's dishonest. It's, there's a lack of, of truth. Okay, there is. Somebody has been refusing to accept the truth by staying in a safe zone, but emotionally unfulfilled. So I think that you guys have been in a situation where there's not a lot of passion, and somebody's been dishonest with themselves. And I think that you've had good intentions for this when it started out. You did. You had really, really good intentions. But now you probably realize that there's another opportunity that's better suited for you. And you may be wanting to break free of something that you are no longer emotionally connected to. And maybe for some of you, this is the single person who realizes, you know, I'd be better off single waiting, waiting for the right one than lying to myself. So I think that some of you are enjoying your independence. For those of you that are independent, for those of you that are coupled, you're thinking about this independence. You're thinking, you know, I might be better off on my own. I'd be more abundant internally and externally on my own. Just saying. If you're single, you're probably at this point right now. Where you're just enjoying life as it is. You know, you're taking care of business. You're on top of the world. And, and that's where this attract, attraction card comes in. If you've gotten to this point and you are enjoying this moment fully you know, then romantic love is probably going to come in because you've gotten to this point. For those of you that are in this situation that is stagnant and stale and lacks passion, I mean, really lacks passion, then you have to get to this point so that you can call in your soulmate. You have to be patient, worth waiting for. You do. And nines, again, are about closure. So I think one door has to close before you can get your true soulmate death and door closing okay there you are maybe you are i think that you are absolutely positively working on yourself or thinking about it you know what this needs to end this is a release this is a transition from one stage to another i mean that's what death is it's a transition so i feel like you guys may be dis you may tr be in considering with the seven of cups you're, you're considering transitioning from this situation that is not true it's dishonest there's no passion it's not what you're looking for whatever it is this will not resonate for everybody if you're in a happily ever after relationship you shouldn't have made it this far okay so if if uh you guys are in a situation that i'm describing then this reading is for you there's an opportunity for an ending that brings a beautiful new beginning, a rebirth. 
but you have to allow the transformation to happen. And now you guys are going through a transformation, single or coupled. You are. You're changing. You're not the same person that you used to be. You're starting to have more self-respect, more self-worth than you've had while in this situation that you were in. Um, I think a lot of you are in, the single ones are enjoying life. You are. You're being enlightened. You're going through a period of enlightenment. And right now you may need that. You know, because I see that you're going through a transformation. You're going through a period of figuring out who you are, who you now are, who you want to be. The Looking at the opportunities in front of you, you know, these are exciting opportunities. It's like, I want more excitement in my life. I'm looking for something that is adventurous. You know, I think that you guys have a, a huge... Um, it's like there's a ball of fire that is growing inside of you. It's growing. And some of you are trapped in a situation and that fire is, is caught. And because you can't let that fire out, you can't let that passion out, it's, it's really weighing you down. You know what I mean? It is. You're not the same person. This is Ten of Wands. It's a heavy weight. You're not the same person you were. You're not. Anyway, this is sacrificing yourself. You guys have been sacrificing yourself for a situation that was not fruitful for some time. But I don't think you're doing that anymore. I think that you guys are being enlightened. You're going through a transformation. You Something is ending in your life and bringing you something better. I think you are calling in your soulmate for those of you that are single. For those of you that are single and loving it. Okay, you're single and loving it. And you're seeing things from the new perspective. That's what the hangman is. It's when you are seeing things from the new perspective. You're taking the time to look outside that box. You're not in a hurry. You're not. You know you're worth enough to not be in a hurry. You know, you know, I'd rather be single and wait for Mr. or Mrs. Right than be involved in this dishonest situation that's safe but unfulfilling. Some of you have gotten to this point. Some of you are still in this situation and need to find the strength to get out of it, but whatever. Anyway, this right here is when that door closes and you love yourself enough, you will attract the romantic life and call in your soulmate. And, and these things, it totally makes sense. So I feel like this is a time of you guys making that decision, okay? Making that complex decision to absolutely, if, if you're coupled, to free yourself from a situation that is a dead end, it's toxic, to allow this transformation to happen. For, that's for some of you. For the single people, there's an opportunity for, you to, that, for your soulmate to enter your life. There is. There is. I'm going to clarify these. Scorpio, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yeah, there's a new opportunity. There's a new opportunity and you know it. You see it. You've been bored in a situation for too long. And now it's time to bring some balance and go after what you deserve. You deserve love. And you know it. And I feel like you sense you know it because you're thinking positive and you, you're you feeling balanced with your decisions for those of you that are. You're, you are, there's a new, there's a new, there's a new opportunity for love. You're at a crossroads and you have that opportunity to go down that new path whenever you're ready. Like I said, you can free yourself. It's like you have an opportunity to stay in the darkness or see the light. And I think that many of you, the majority of you watching this, are about to see the light. That's how I feel. And you probably are vibrating very highly. You know, you have a high vibration because it just, it's like I saw the light, you know what I mean, with it around you. People can see your light. That's what I'm trying to say. Because you're in, and this is the attraction card. I just barely noticed that even after I said that, the vibrancy, I just looked down and noticed it. it is. Your attractiveness is 
showing, okay? Everybody can see it. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You have a choice between two options. Do you stay where you're at or do you move forward? Now, if you move forward, you're going to move towards a soulmate. You have to put effort into it. You have to invest in patience. You have to invest in waiting for your soulmate. You have to invest in calling in your soulmate. You're in a situation that is not meant to be right now. Hmm. That's the damn truth, okay? There's one contract that needs to end so that you can unite with your soulmate. Uh, you know, a lot of you, the cross watchers especially are not going to like this. But that's okay because this reading is for Scorpio, not the cross watchers. I'm not that reader that caters to anybody just to get subscribers. No. And for the cross watchers that are watching this, I do this for you as well on your main videos. We aren't catering to your ex. We aren't catering to your boyfriend. We're catering to the sign. I'm not that, that reader that's going to beg for you this reading to resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. There is a contract, a partnership that is not compatible. And it is holding you back from your soulmate. And you can't avoid it. Eventually, it's going to break down. Somebody is involved in a false commitment, a false foundation, and they are pretending that everything is good. It is not good. It's safe, but it's unstable. And eventually, it's going to break. Patiently wait for your true soulmate. You're in an unstable, insecure situation. Maybe that's in your, in, within yourself. You know, sometimes people stay in a situation just for the sake of having a partner. So you're going to let your soulmate pass you by? For codependent reasons? Because of your own insecurities? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. But you have to get out of a situation that is not meant to be. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. There's lessons you need to learn along the way. Okay? One of them is strength. To face your fears. To work on independence. To work on your self-esteem. To work on your self-love. Self Those are all life lessons. If you can't take care of yourself independently, then you will continue to get karmic partners that are going to teach you what you're worth until you can. You will continue to get shit birds until you prove that you can take care of yourself on your own. To teach you the life lesson in that situation is self-love, self-respect. You don't need somebody to fix you. You fix you, and then your soulmate will arrive. Staying in a contract that is incompatible just because it's safe and it's codependent and to say that you have somebody is going to bring you bad luck and bad karma and a pile of shit. Maybe that's your lesson. Worth waiting for. 
divine timing is at work in your love life. If you have gotten to this point where you are single and you love it, your soulmate is coming. Be careful. Don't act recklessly. There could be some reckless behavior here because you're getting impatient. You're getting impatient waiting for this soulmate. Yeah, I've worked on myself. I love myself. I'm happy. I'm vibrating highly, but I'm getting impatient. So you may be acting recklessly, trying to move very quickly. But you need to take a time out and step back and become aware again of what you're worth. You are worth the right one is worth waiting for. Don't don't go out there and let people take advantage of you because you're lonely. This is lonely, okay? Loneliness. Fear of growing old alone. Work worth waiting for. Fear of growing old alone. Trying to move too fast with people that are really, you know, not meant to be part of your journey, but you're lonely. You're sick of being alone. Yeah, you're single and you love it, but it is lonely. Keep in mind that divine timing is real. It's real. Wait. Take a time out, please. If you hurry, you will get taken advantage of. The full reverse is being taken advantage of. So just slow down. Slow down. Let divine timing play a part. Yeah, you could get involved with somebody that doesn't appreciate you if you rush or if you let loneliness drive you into the arms of somebody who doesn't have the doesn't have a plan you know this person doesn't have a plan doesn't have this person is free spirited they're not looking to commit be careful be careful be patient commitment will come it will come you could meet a new person that you've been waiting for at a gathering or <coughs> something that's outside you know under tent like this you know, maybe you go to some festival or harvest festival or wedding or something. You go to something and you might meet the, the one that you're supposed to be with. But if you don't have self-respect and self-confidence and strength and courage... To wait for the right time, the time is now with AIDS, then you're gonna you're gonna deal with players. So anyway, I feel as though there's you have to be patient, Scorpio. I do. I feel like you have to be patient. Do I see new love coming in for Scorpios that are single? Is there new love coming in right this during this time for Scorpios that are single? Could be. There absolutely could be a new opportunity coming into your life for Scorpios that are single. That are no longer in this contract. That is not compatible. There, See what it is? There's an opportunity for love. And I don't, you know, this, this person... Will be attracted to your confidence. They will be attracted to your aura. They'll be attracted to your vibrancy. They'll be attracted to everything about you. And, and it will be mutual. So when you're going out to these gatherings or whatever, make sure that you let that confidence show. 
okay? Because here, this is lack of confidence. This is confidence. So don't waver on it. Show your confidence. This person's going to be attracted to that. But don't cheat yourself with a player. I, You know, I really feel like you guys are in a rush. And when you get in a rush, and that's why this card has come up. When you get in a rush, you will get players, okay? Slow down. Wait for the right one to come in. You could meet somebody, but don't rush into it. That's my advice. Some of you are in a situation that is very unstable. But your soulmate is around the corner for those of you that are single and have freed yourself from the situation that you've been safe in but has no sexual passion. Whatever. Um, there's an opportunity. Your soulmate's coming. I don't think it's coming. I mean, you may, you could meet this person this week. You could meet them, you could run into them somewhere at this gathering in the in the process could start. But I don't see it being a full blown relationship if you're single this week. I don't see that. I feel I mean you could run into this person at a gathering or whatever, you know, and have that initial contact, but that's what I see. For some of you, that's not even happening. You still have to be patient. You're in a hurry. You're in a hurry. And being in a hurry will get you situation into situations that are not going to lead to anywhere so just slow down um couples you got to make that decision to free yourself from the situation that is dead end and that's the bottom line um view from above get the big picture View from above. Don't get bowed down in details. Let go of petty concerns. Get the big picture. Imagine that you're seeing your life from above. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Only do what is truly important. Everything else is inconsequential. Go through each area of your life to look and see what the big picture is. Make major life decisions based on this strategy. Imagine that you're seeing your life from above. Only do what is truly important. Everything else is inconsequential. Go through each area of your life to look and see what the big picture is. Major life, like I said, transformation is upon you. Remove what doesn't serve you. Please. Don't stop lying to yourself. I can see that somebody's been lying to themselves. I see it 100%. Truly, I do. There's no resurrection in one situation, and you're being punished for it. You're punishing yourself. There's no chance that it's going to get better in a situation. If there's no passion, there's no passion. It's easy to forget what their overall journey is about when the traveler gets caught up in day-to-day -day survival and the ups and downs of the life of the road on the road. It's only when the traveler takes the time to look at the big picture that he realizes that most worries and anxieties are only temporary. Imagine yourself in the future. Imagine yourself in the future. Ask yourself if what you are doing now will be important to your future self. Focusing on these concerns takes up valuable life force energy. Keep your focus directed on the important things in life. Let everything else drop away. It's hard to step away from something that 
you invested so much time in. I know that it is. But if it isn't fulfilling you, it's only hurting you and the other person. It's hurting you more. Talk to you later.